Hello everybody, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors and I am super excited today to tell you about one of our newest arrivals. It is a 1956 Bel Air, all correct colors, original correct interior. Stated to us that it was a matching numbers block. We haven't verified that yet, but we will shortly. I have tons of receipts with this car. It was a completely frame off car. We uh, it has a 365 power pack with the automatic transmission in it. The car is an out, has an outstanding paint job. It has been on the cover and an extensive article wrote up in it in Classic Chevy Magazine. It has been to many, many of the major Chevy events. We are so excited to be able to obtain this vehicle. It is an outstanding classic Chevy, one of the Tri Fives, which is a which is a timeless vehicle. They are maturing in value. They are a great investment, and of course, everybody recognizes just how wonderful the classic Chevys are, especially that Tri Five era, the '55, the '56, the '57, and the fine one in the condition that this vehicle is in is just absolutely outstanding. Um, I don't think I have the keys to it, so we probably won't be able to start it, but let's go ahead and take you around it, and uh, we'll shoot another video where we do a test drive. I'm also going to shoot a video of the undercarriage. A couple of the things I would like to point out on this car, these are its original bumpers, and they have been re-chromed. In so many cases, we get cars that have re-pop bumpers and grills in them, but this is the car's both front and rear bumpers and they have been re-chromed and they are absolutely outstanding and gorgeous. The headlight bezels, the eyebrows are gorgeous. The V emblems and the Chevy emblem on the front of the car is an exquisite piece of Americana history. Uh, the bird is gorgeous and then the V emblem for the V8 and then also just how pristine the uh, center Chevrolet bow tie is. I've seen many cars of this quality that people are asking in the $40,000 and $50,000. We were able to get this car at a great price. Somebody is going to get an absolutely outstanding vehicle. If this car runs and drives perfect too. Everything in the car works. It is um, Matador Red and a Adobe beige with correct wide whites, correct mirrors on the car, and even the chrome and the stainless down the side of the car is really in great shape, just absolutely outstanding shape. Um, I, I do want to say that this is a show quality car. It is a driver car. It has been driven. It was restored at 44,000 original miles. I do have pictures of the engine out of the car and also the car as it was being redone. The back bumpers have also been re-chromed and where the headlight and fuel gauge is, or fuel uh, filler is back here in the back, these chrome pieces are just absolutely outstanding. They just look awesome. Uh, this is a show winning car. And uh, of course, all these cars, this car has got a little over 22,000 miles dri driven on it since it's been restored. It was painted, uh, it does have the receipts when it was painted. It was painted back in 1989. As I've been through the entire car, I have found a couple little defects. Right here, the car has been, had a touch up done on the paint there. As we go back to the back, on both sides, and these are so minute, it's going to be very hard to see in this camera, even if it is high def. Right there is a very, very small hairline crack. It's about the size of an eyebrow. And not sure if a lot of you remember, of course the old guys will, but in this section, you can't even see it on the camera, but in this section right here is where the lead is in the car. And it does have what we call lead blistering. Uh, it has a little, uh, if you're familiar with the old lacquer, it kind of looks maybe like a checking kind of in the paint. Very hard to see, not very noticeable, but it is in the vehicle on both sides. As we go around the car over here, we also have 
the lead blistering and it has one one blister that's a little bit more prevalent than the, the others it is on the car and it is right here see if i can get in closer where you can see that um, that could be fixed it's not a big problem to have it fixed it's right there that's actually a, a light it's not the the bubble but there there it is you can probably see it. it's right at the end of my finger very hard to see but it is in the paint uh, this is a super, super great, great quality car. Um, very, very few flaws, few and far between. On this side, it has the identical twin to the other little hairline crack, which is right there. Um, and I also found one very small touch-up on the front eyebrow where it had a little small rock chip, which is right in here somewhere i don't see it right now but i know it was right on this corner right here very small but it has been touched up the rest of the paint job is absolutely phenomenal on the car this car has great eyeball it shows well and drives just as nice as it looks this is all the correct interior in the car all of the windows roll up and down great all of the moldings are soft and supple the rear window moldings here are also in great shape and up along the edge of the pillar. This car does have the correct VIN in it. It is a V8 Bel Air. It has the correct steering wheel and all gauges in the dash are operable. Even the dome lights that are in the vehicle, the dome light that's in the vehicle also works and it does have seat belts added correct interior the package tray in the back is also in great shape uh, on this video i won't be able to open the trunk sorry about that i will grab the keys next video we shoot uh, and we'll get the uh, trunk for you the car has had both driver and passenger pans replaced we will show that in a video uh, overall though very limited rust in the vehicle i'm sure if that was all that was replaced and i'll show you the engine compartment here extensive work done to make sure that the engine is correct in both fit and finish it is a 265 power pack in the vehicle correct carburetor correct air cleaner one of the things I have forgotten to mention on this car it does have vintage air and the vintage air does work very well um, I haven't started this car yet today. Let's see if I make a liar out of me. I don't have the keys, but I don't think we have the ignition in the locked position. The 265 has been completely rebuilt and runs and purrs just absolutely perfect. Like I said, the air conditioner does work. It does have the added uh, disconnect on there and it does have the trim tag still on the car. Uh, the, the skirts are in great shape. Some people would probably prefer to run the car without the skirts. Uh, it gives it a squarer look. It gives it a longer look with the skirts. If you wanted to run it without the skirts, the car also comes with an included extra set of hubcaps for the rears if you run these hubcaps with the skirts, they will get just bare, they'll get scratched on the point uh, of the hubcap. So they do have an extra set that comes with the car. All the lights are, op are operational and functional. The air conditioning and heat also works great in this vehicle. Um, you can hear by the sound of it, this car absolutely runs and drives perfect. It is a beautiful example of a 1956 Bel Air. Uh, there has been added um, gauges underneath for oil pressure and oil temperature and it does have its original am radio which we were told it was functional we haven't hooked it up yet a light does come on and it does have a set of speakers in here the previous owner didn't want to cut holes for the speakers and i don't know if you can notice where they put the vents in for the air conditioner but they're in a great spot and it looks awesome show you this video is getting right at the 10 minute mark which it will cut me off so let's try to get show you where the air conditioning vents are 
They're right here. We got six seconds. It's Daryl Passing Lane Motors, 636-600-1140. Thanks so much for looking. Have a great day. Bye now.